Yo, 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 y'all already know what it is. It's Chris Madrid here with another video, and I got Mark back on the channel. That's good, yo. Remember when we did the 2020 MLB predictions? And this time, we're going to do a debate over the greatest roster of all time yes, in MLB sir. history, you know. We're going to debate, you know, like first take, you know, for example, like that. There we go. All right, let's get to the debate now. So the best battery uh, for the all-time lineup, that I, for, for me at least, that I would say, starting pitcher would be uh, Pedro Martinez. Pedro Martinez, the best pitcher of all time? Yes, sir. Really? He was unbeatable. I'm going to have to disagree with that. I'm going to have to go with Nolan Ryan. Nolan Ryan, the most strikeouts of all time, most no hitters of all time. There's no question about it. I would say Nolan Ryan. Either I would you say, know. I don't mean to interrupt you, but uh, Pedro or Randy Johnson, because Randy Johnson in his prime was, he won four Cy Youngs in a row. He's good, he's, he's good too, but from that era, I would say Roger Clemens is better than both, even though there's oh, specu no. he's oh speculation God, that he did dude. cheat, but he still We're did better than that, man. We're not going to argue. And he should be in the Hall of Fame, Roger oh Clemens, man. God. He should be. <laughs> you think Roger Clemens is better than Randy Johnson? Hell yeah, oh Roger Clemens. Oh my. Man. Even though Randy Johnson, he <laughs> threw pretty hard, but Clemens, come on, the strikeout rate, the all-time wins, come on now. Clemens isn't even better than Pedro Martinez. What? What? He's yeah, he is. Better than come Pedro on. Martinez, dude. And he is much no. better. Even though I'm being unbiased here because Pedro, he did pitch for my favorite team, the Red Sox. Clemens did too, but he didn't mm -hmm. betray us for the stupid Yankees. But, you know, I'm unbiased, and I'd say Clemens is better. Yeah, All right, we'll move on. Right. So I pick Randy Johnson. No, I'll, I got Randy Johnson. And you? Nolan yeah. Ryan? Yeah, Nolan Ryan. I'm sick of Nolan Ryan. And catcher, I got... Who do you got? I'd say either Mike Piazza or Johnny Bench. You know, either one. It's tough. You can make a debate for either one of those catchers. I'm going Johnny Bench. Johnny Bench? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. For sure. Uh, first baseman? First baseman. Ooh. Okay. Lou Gehrig. That's easy for me. Lou Gehrig. Lou Gehrig. You know what? I'd say Lou Gehrig, too. He was a great first baseman, you know? Hell yeah. Yeah. All right, uh, next one, second base. Second base, ooh, okay. I'd say, second base. I'd say either Roger Hornsby or Joe Morgan for second base, or even Jack. You know what, I'm gonna have, have to say, you know, Roger Hornsby, you know, Jackie Robinson and Joe Morgan are great second baseman, but I'd have to say Roger Hornsby, go yeah. with the old man. I'm going Roger Hornsby too. Yeah. Put up amazing numbers. Yeah, amazing numbers. Third baseman, all right, this is where shit gets real, Third man. baseman. Please don't say Alex Third. Rodriguez. I'm not saying Alex <laughs> Rodriguez. I'm going to go with Nolan Arnato. <laughs> Nolan Arnato yes. for the greatest third hell baseman yes. of all time? Yes, sir. What the hell? By the end Nolan of the, Ryan. By the, by the end. Oh, Nolan Arenado, my bad. Yes, yeah. Nolan Arenado. By, uh, look, <laughs> hear me out on this. By the end of his career, <laughs> Nolan Arenado will arguably, arguably be the best third baseman of all what? time. But we don't know, you know. Tragically, something could happen, you know, where he doesn't get yes, to finish I, I his understand, career, you know? I understand that, but... <laughs> Dude, I mean, he's just amazing. He he has all the tools. Obviously, no third no third baseman out there really has the speed like Alex Rodriguez did. But no one or not, his defense is spectacular. His offense, I don't even got to start you on that. What? He's got great defense and offense, but he's never won an MVP. He, I don't even think he has more than 300 home runs, you know. But no, he, he is young. But I would say Mike Schmidt. Mike Schmidt, he has over 500 yeah. home runs. He has the most of a third baseman of all time. So it's no question about it. It'd be Mike Schmidt. For the best third baseman of all time on my starting. I gotta go with Nolan Arnold still, man. He's just amazing. All right. Puts what up amazing numbers every time. I just gotta go with. Oh, I would have said Mike Schmidt too, but. Yeah. I gotta go with Nolan Arnold. Shortstop. All right, shortstop, and you go first. Ooh. Ooh, shortstop. Alex Rodriguez. Alex Rodriguez at shortstop? Yes. What? Alex yeah. Rodriguez? In his best years with the Rangers, he used PED <laughs> steroids. But I just saw the stat yesterday. 22, Alex Rodriguez had 42 home runs, 46 strikeout, or 46 stolen bases, 310 batting average. <laughs> and I think he won the gold glove that year too. 1996, he had 356. Um, he was just 20 years old in 1996. And he was he played shortstop. Right. No doubt about it. He was a great shortstop. He was good with the Mariners and in the Rangers. He was good too, but he mm -hmm. cheated and admitted to it. But when you're talking shortstop, greatest shortstop, I'd have to go. This might be surprising, but I'd go with Derek Jeter. You know, 
David Jeter, he did it. You know, he played the game right. You know, he didn't cheat. You know, he had great stats, over 3,000 you know hits. He's in the top 10 for most hits of all time and has over five World Series champions. I think Jidu would be the best shortstop yeah, of all time. I, I think I'm going to have to agree with you, Derek Jeter, cause, just because yeah. of the leadership that he held with the Yankees, translating it over to the best uh, all-star roster of all time. Yeah. I think I think just I just think that's a perfect fit. Alex Rodriguez I think might be a better player, but just like that character and that uh, leadership that Derek Jeter had, yeah. I'm just gonna have to say him. And don't don't get me wrong, yeah. he was still amazing. And Derek Jeter, no doubt about first ballot Hall of Famer mm -hmm. he was. Alex Rodriguez, who knows? I think he should be in the Hall of Fame, but not first ballot. Mm -hmm. Maybe not even the second, maybe the third or fourth. Uh, I still think Barry Bonds and um, that's something else for later, but <laughs> I still think Barry Bonds should still be in the Hall of Fame. Yeah. Roger Clemens. Yeah, I think they should. Yeah. Even Pete Rose. You know? Yes, sir. Yeah. I, mean, I don't even know what he's not doing in there. Oh, yeah, speaking of the outfield, all right, let's start off with left field. Who oh, do you think the greatest shit. left fielder of all I'm a, time? First, <coughs> I'm going to put, I'm going to select my three outfielders and, and uh, put them in the positions from there. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, for me. All right, we're going to take a break. If you need to get popcorn and go to the bathroom, now is a good time to do it. No, I got Ken Griffey Jr. in center. Uh, Barry Bonds and right. Now this one's just this third position is hard. You put Barry Bonds in left? What? No, Barry Bonds and right. Oh, Barry Bonds right, but he played yeah. left. <laughs> See, there's Willie Mays. Willie Mays. Willie Mays. That's it. He played center too. But for all time, I gotta go left field, Ted Williams. This is unbiased. Ted Williams is just a great left fielder. You know, he played the game right. He had over 500 home runs. Oh. Even in an era without, you know, the PEDs and all that, and, you know, not the power hitters, he did great in that era, you know. And then in center field, you know, that would be tough between Griffey and Mays, but I'd have to go with Roy Mays in center field because he just changed the game forever. Yeah. And then right field, I don't know, Hank Aaron or Ty Cobb. Oh. I'd have to go with oh, I'd have to man. go with Hank Aaron in right field, obviously. Ty Cobb, great hitter, you know, he played the game by his own rules. But I'd still go with Hank Aaron, you know, second on that all time home runs list in right field. I'd have to do that. So so your final is left field. Yeah, Ted Williams, Willie field. Mays, and then Hank Aaron, right field. Alright, let me change mine up a bit. Alright. Uh I was just going off the top of my head. Center field of Ken Griffey Jr., no doubt about that. He gets that spot locked in. Fuck. I just think you that know, with Ken Griffey, you know, with the Reds, he didn't have, like, as good as the career yeah, he, he did with the Mariners. He yeah, you're right. Like, he kind of fell off, you know. In my opinion, Ken Griffey Jr. is the best player of all time. <laughs> best player of all yes, time? Yes, what? Sir, yes. Best player of yes. all time? In my opinion, Ken Griffey Jr. What? is the best player of all time. What about Babe with Ruth? What Reds? about Hank Aaron? <laughs> Babe Ruth, it's just the game was so much more different back then. That. Yeah, but he changed the game forever. He made Americans love the game, you know. But, Before but him, we're not, people weren't paying attention we're, to baseball. We're not saying who's the most, who's the most baseball changer. That you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Who is the freaking most uh, influential player in baseball ever? I'm saying the best player of all time, which. And which I say is Ken Griffey Jr. And that's definitely debatable. Griffey was a great player, probably the best of his era, but I don't know all time. There's Pete Rose, there's Babe Ruth, oh there's Hank God. Aaron, Pain. there's Pete Roy Rose. Mays, Ty Cobb. <coughs> great players from different eras. You know, it's just hard to pick who the greatest oh of all time God. is. There's the greatest players of each decade, but I think for like um, to pick of all time, that's just you know stretch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's not that much of a stretch. He's definitely up there. But center field, Ken Griffey Jr. Right field, left field, Barry Bonds. Right field, Babe Ruth. Right field, Babe Ruth. That's, that's my field. Babe Ruth, yeah, in right field. I'd say, you know, Hank Aaron and Babe Ruth, that's debatable in right field, but Hank Aaron, just because he was a better outfielder, you know, hitting, you know, you can make a case for either one, but outfield, you gotta go with Hank Aaron. He had much better speed, and Babe Ruth at the end of his career just got really fat. I still gotta go with Babe Ruth. All right, I respect that. That's All amazing. Right. All right, but how about the DH spot? DH, Dave Ortiz. David Ortiz. I understand uh, the D, the DH award is uh, known as the Eddie Martinez Award. You know, uh, as as uh, great of a designated hitter he was, I still gotta go with D, David Ortiz. Even though I'm a Yankees fan, he was just amazing. You know, it was what? amazing watching. Oh my, my bad. <laughs> you're my good. Bad, you're good. It you know was what? still amazing watching him. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I I appreciate you know your unbiased opinion. Yeah. 
And I would go with David Ortiz too, you yeah. know, even though Edgar Martinez was a really good DH, mm -hmm. but still David Ortiz's numbers, you know, are off the top, you know. And, you know, he won the MVP in the 2013 World Series and, you know, just made me love the Red Sox even more. He was such a great player. He was my favorite player for a while, you know. He still is one of my favorite players of all time, you know. And I got to see his last All-Star game in San Diego. I was there at Petco Park. It was a great experience all the way. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. Right. But the way I see it, David Ortiz had the power. He had the leadership. Yeah. He had, uh, I feel like those were his uh, main two tools, the power and the leadership. Yeah. Edgar Martinez had more of the athletic um, athletic ability athletic ability yeah. and the contact yeah but um, overall I say David Ortiz is the best designator of all time what about the greatest relief pitcher or closer of all time Mariano Rivera that's easy Mariano Rivera I gotta agree even though there's other great ones like Raleigh Fingers Dennis Eckersley and Trevor Hoffman they were great you know in their own ways but Mariano Rivera it's pretty obvious that he beats them all the way five World Series champions and you know, just right. most saves of all time, you know, it's just Mayo and Rivera all the way. So my final um, all-time roster starts at uh, pitcher Randy Johnson, catcher uh, Johnny Bench, first baseman Lou Gehrig, second baseman uh, Roger Sornsby, third base Nolan Arenado, uh, shortstop Derek Jeter, my outfield uh, from left to right, uh, Barry Bonds, Ken Griffey Jr., Bay Ruth, uh, my DH would be David Ortiz, and my closer would be Mariano Rivera. Can't believe it. No one Arenado on third yeah. base. What about and you? What's that? your wrap-up? All right, so my wrap-up. All right, so pitcher, I'd go with Nolan Ryan. And then catcher, I would go with um, Mike P Piazza or Johnny Bench. I don't know. That's tough. And I, at the end, I might have to go with Mike Piazza because he was more of a power hitter, and he played his position great. So I'd go with Mike Piazza at the end. First baseman, I'd go with Luke Garrick. Second baseman, Roger Hornsby. Short shortstop I'll go with um, Derek Jeter and then third base I'll go with Mike Schmidt and then left field I'd go with Ted Williams and then center field I'd go with um, Roy Mays and then right field I'd go with Hank Aaron and then at the DH spot I'd go with David Ortiz and then as the closer I'd go with Mariano Rivera all the way. It's mm -hmm. perfect. That's perfect. All right, thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you all enjoy it, man. Let us know in the comments that you want to hear more debates from me and Mark. Like, comment, subscribe to Madrid videos. And that's it. Let's get it. See you. Yeah.